Hi, I'm Dr. Alan Widener from MassageChairRelief.com and today is our bi-weekly massage chair industry update for Monday, July 19th, 2021. Thank you so much for visiting today. Uh, I want to uh, 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 talk a little bit about uh, pricing, chair pricing, logistics and whatnot. As you know, or as you may or may not know, uh, there have been logistical issues with getting chairs here in the United States through the Port of Long Beach from China and Japan since fourth quarter of last year. And uh, and things are still, and, and what happened is that the logistics chain was disrupted uh, because um, there weren't chairs or there were, the product wasn't coming out of China because of the virus. And then when they came here, uh, when, when things opened up in China, things were kind of closed off here a little bit. And so there was uh, less, uh, less demand here. Uh, but now uh, then people, when people started kind of uh, realizing that they can still get stuff uh, online instead of going to stores, the online order surged. China didn't have enough product to accommodate that. And, and, and even today, you'll hear things about microchips that can't be produced yet at, 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 the, at the rate needed. Uh, uh, there's, there's just a lot of, it, it just created this backup. So anyways, what happened then is that there was this backup of chairs, or not of chairs, of, of containers coming from China and Japan. They're backlogged off the port of Long Beach. Uh, it took two to three weeks to get through the port, uh, or, or it took a week or two to get to the port, and another two weeks to get through the port uh, through customs. And then, of course, in the truckers, and there was a shortage of truckers to handle all the influx of, of new product, there was a short of, tr of truckers to take the, the, the product to the warehouses around the country. So <clears throat> anyways, that, that backlog of, of, of product off the coast of, of, Long Be of California and Long Beach, uh, that resulted in a shortage of containers back in China and Japan. They didn't have enough containers to ship the demand because all the containers were on ships, or not all, but the, the vast majority of these, or a large, a large percentage of the, of the containers were held up on outside the port of Long Beach. So it created this crazy thing. And so now what's happened is because of the shortage of containers, uh, the, the shipping companies are charging an exorbitant amount to fill a container. So what used to be a $5,000 charge for a container uh, filled with product is now fifteen dollars to $18,000 a container. And of course, this is being passed along to us. Uh, as the retailers are, are the, the, the increase on prices of chairs have gone up, not the prices, but the cost of the chairs have gone up. Our cost has gone up quite a bit. Uh, for example, uh, Furniture for Life just uh, issued or just began a, a, or uh, started a 5% surcharge on the cost of the chairs. Uh, they've also in, uh, started charging us a, a, a credit card processing fee. Uh, we also have uh, uh, Human Touch is increasing the, the cost of some of their chairs. Uh, and the cost of, they have increased the cost of shipping. Osaki Titan has increased their pricing on some of their chairs. Um, who else? Uh, boy, Infinity just announced an increase of, uh, I think it's 5% on in August. It's beginning in August. Ogawa, Kozia, JP Medics, Brookstone, that company, excuse me, that company has increased their prices by 5% and now they've jumped it up to 5th to 7%. So what this means is that our costs have gone up. Fortunately, not many of the prices of the chairs have gone up, but what that means is that uh, the, 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 the negotiating power that we used to have with certain chairs, we don't have like we had before. In other words, some of the prices that were available on sale uh, like last year or for Black Friday last year will not be available anymore because we can't, our costs are, are higher and so we can't afford to lower the price too long and the distributors can't afford to lower their prices too much on sale pricing. So th there's been this crazy trickle down ripple effect all the way through the industry and uh, the bottom line is prices of chairs or the cost of chairs have gone up, negotiating power of the customer has gone down and uh, the ability for the retailer to negotiate price has also changed significantly. Now having said all that, uh, the, the, the two companies who have not increased their costs for us yet or even at all is are, are Loraco and Daiwa and I don't, I'm not sure about Daiwa because their chairs come from China. Uh, maybe there will be an increase in their costs. I don't know. Uh, but Loraco does not ship their chairs out of China or Japan. Their non-critical components come from Taiwan. And so maybe that's a reason why there's, there's not a, 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 such a, a huge delay. 
uh, for their chairs, even though I suspect that even if the, the containers are available and they're shipping out regularly out of Taiwan, they still have to come to the Port of Long Beach. But I have not, they have not been, uh, they have not been backward. They've had good stock and all their electronic or, you know, critical electronic components are made in D Dallas at their factory or warehouse in Dallas. And so that company's not, their pricing has not been affected yet. Um, they have a new model coming out at the end of this year that was supposed to come out a year ago, but was delayed because of the COVID business. Uh, the i9, and uh, we, you know, I, we, I don't know yet uh, how the pricing is going to be on that one. We've, I don't even think we ever even heard what the original projected price would be when they uh, brought it to CES uh, over you know a year ago, over a year ago, a year and a half ago. So, anyways, uh, just to let you know, the prices, the costs have gone up. The prices haven't, but the negotiating power has decreased. So that's something to be aware of. Uh, uh, speaking of pricing, uh, the Supreme Hybrid from Daiwa, which is a very, very popular chair, uh, their price, uh, their, their, their minimum advertised pricing has jumped from 12500 to 13500 and Ogawa has discontinued the Refresh Plus model, which was a $1,999 chair, a very basic S-Track chair, nice chair, uh, but that chair has been discontinued. <clears throat> now, uh, also want to mention that uh, Furniture for Life has changed their branding. Uh, I don't know if you remember, I, I don't think we have it on our website anymore, we have the new branding on, but the old branding was uh, red, big letters FFL uh, with red uh, coloring. Now it's a, it's a more, uh, a more uh, what would be the word, a, a more simple looking logo uh, with nice lines and green color, more of a green accent color. So it's a more, a more uh, a soothing color, I would suspect you would say, uh, but it, you can take a look at it. It's on our website. You go to the Furniture for Life brand uh, category page and you'll see the new logo. But anyways, uh, that's, it's a nice, it's a, I think it's a great change. It's a nice looking logo, a more of a soothing logo. That's the word I was trying to think of, but a nice logo. Uh, also, we want to mention that uh, uh, we have online calendars now for all of our three stores, so appointments can be scheduled. Uh, we are slowly deploying regular hours again, uh, uh, and that will be, you know, within the next month, we'll probably have uh, the, uh, the, 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 you know, some stated or regular hours for all of our stores. But uh, we are opening a fourth store, and I'm not going to mention just yet when it's going to, uh, you know, where it's at because we haven't signed the lease yet. But man, I've been working for like two to three months uh, negotiating leases on this on, on this location, and it's it's not it's difficult because uh, there's a lot of a lot of small businesses that have shut down, so there's more inventory available in this particular market. Uh, but the, the the property managers don't budge much on the pricing. So even though the 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 the, the, the supply is up uh, because of the small businesses shutting down, uh, they they're, they're, they're are still being treated as though the, these these spots, these retail spaces, are being treated by the property managers as though they're they're, they're super high demand still, and the pricing is a little bit high. But uh, we're seeing a drop in, in uh, not sorry, we're not seeing a drop, but we're seeing a little bit more flexibility uh, in the negotiating uh, of the lease with the land uh, with the pro property manager. So uh, we hope to have a lease signed within the next week or two. I've been saying this for <laughs> for a while now, but it is true it has been taking us a while to get to this place. But we found on Friday we learned that uh, the the the, uh, the 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 uh, the structure for a for a new lease is in place. Now we just have to go through the particulars. So, anyways, I'll, I'll probably let, I'll probably let you know about that in two weeks from now on the next massage chair industry update. But we're excited about it, and I just wanted you to to know that we do have online calendars. It's easy to schedule. You don't even have to call in or anything like that. You just go and schedule your appointment, and uh, our employee, uh, you know, the manager of each store, will see you when you when you come in. Okay, um, as you know, uh, as you know, I have, well, as you probably know, uh, if you go to my website, you will receive uh, a pop-up window that encourages you to download a, a report called 11 Things You Absolutely Must Know, uh, you, or you must even, you even, I don't know, before you get to consider before investing in a high quality robotic massage chair. And, uh, and we also have uh, the buyer beware, crucial red flags, flags to watch out for when shopping for a massage chair. Uh, those are on our uh, uh, 
if you go on our website, you'll see the navigation bar options across the top. The one that says education, the last option says free educational downloads. And those two reports are there. Uh, the, the, uh, I really like the buyer beware one. I just finished that one last year. Uh, it took me about a year and a half to write it just because I, there was so much information that was needed to be assimilated and integrated in a, in a readable, uh, uh, you know, uh, easy, easily understood format. Uh, and that's the, the buyer beware, the crucial red flags things. I, I really like that. Uh, that that um, I really love that that booklet and it's a free download for you it's that's a good one you should watch that one <clears throat> Sorry, you should download it and read it. Has great information if you're looking for a massage chair. Uh, <clears throat> not just about, like the other reports, 11 things you absolutely must know uh, before considering buying a chair, like basic things. But this one goes in a little more depth into some things you need to be aware of. Like uh, uh, some, sometimes we got some shysters out there that uh, do some false advertising or misleading advertising or uh, or whatever. Uh, we, I just want you to be aware of, what, uh, of, of things before you commit to a chair. And I've got another comment about that in just a moment that I'll, I'll mention in, uh, about, an, about another chair. Uh, but anyways, uh, and then I added, but what, what I'm saying is I added two more reports. One's the top 10 reasons why you should buy your new robotic massage chair from Massage Chair Relief. A little self-serving, yes, I know, but uh, it, it does help to, to lay out for you the, the, the 10 reasons why, you know, why we are, are a good choice for your retailer. And then another one is 13 shocking health benefits that you never uh, knew you could get from a massage chair. And we talk about about, uh, the health benefits uh, from a massage chair, uh, like the physiological benefits of a massage chair, actual conditions that can be helped by a massage chair. And then I also compare, just a one page comparison of, um, of uh, using a massage chair versus a licensed massage therapist. And we saw a huge migration of people over to a massage chair last year during COVID because uh, massage therapists and chiropractors and manual therapists were uh, not open for a good percentage of it. And a lot of people weren't comfortable going to a, a place where maybe they could catch COVID. So not to say that those places weren't protecting themselves from COVID or the spread of COVID, but uh, there was a, a, a psychological shift from going in person for massage to a chair. Uh, but anyways, <clears throat> there we talk, I talk about that. And these are all, I've written all these reports, but I want to have as much information out there for you uh, in making your decision because I know that buying a massage chair is not an easy thing. And you're spending, in some cases, spending a lot of money. Uh, well, and for you, any amount could be a lot of money depending on your budget. But uh, even spending $500 on a chair, uh, which we consider a low price chair, but for, for someone that's a big amount of money and I want to make sure that, that person is making sure that they're getting the right bang for their buck, the right deal, and they're not getting ripped off. So anyways, take a look at that. And I, speaking of these, uh, these, uh, these uh, free reports, I have run across, and I, I've talked about this be before, but I just wrote an article about this on my blog this week, and feel free to read it. I think I just put it up on Friday. But <clears throat> There are these reports out there, you know, the best massage chairs or the top 10 massage chairs or the best massage chairs for 2021. And honestly, I think those reports are a bunch of, I don't know, <laughs> bogus information for the most part, because I've looked at these reports, a lot of them, and they have chairs on there that don't even exist anymore, like the Omega chair. And there's a chair that I saw Geez, I think 10 years ago called the Superior Massage Chair. I've not even heard of it since. And that's listed as one of the top massage chairs. Omega Montage Chair was a good chair in its day, but that was 10, 15 years ago. And that chair, it's not even around anymore as far as I'm, as far as I'm aware of. But they include these chairs on this list. And it's kind of weird because the, the, a lot of these reports have some of the similar top chairs. And in my estimation, some of those top chairs are not, I don't know if the chairs are any good, but the companies that sell them are not all that great. And I would be very, very leery of those reports. Now, understand that those reports are typically, they're not written by experts in the field. Uh, and they're not written by, I would say not even written by people that are really uh, even well versed in, in the field in terms of massage chair models. What they are are people who sign up as affiliates, and this is principally for Amazon. They sign up as an affiliate, and you can do this. Amazon has an affiliate program, and a lot of businesses have affiliate programs. But you, you sign up as an affiliate, and then you market the, the, the product for that company, 
whoever it is that's selling the chair on Amazon, you're marketing for them uh, by putting out free reports or putting up on ads on, on uh, Google or, or Facebook or whatever. So, but these are people that uh, of course have a vested interest in it because they, they're going to get a commission based on what chair they sell you. And I got no problem with people selling chairs or selling products for a commission or a profit. That's what I do. But what I do have a problem with is that they're throwing information out there and making recommendations at, in, to someone who is in the market and in the industry and has been for 16 years, over 16 years, this, these, are, these reports are not great. They're kind of bogus, to be honest with you. And I want you to be very, very careful of those. You can read my article about it. I talk about it. Um, I also discussed it in the Buyer Beware brochure that I talked about earlier uh, here. And anyway, so uh, just... It's kind of a pet peeve of mine, these, these best massage chairs are top 10 or top 12 or top eight, whatever. They're not usually, we do not, those of us in the industry would not consider those the top end chairs. Uh, but we do consider <clears throat> that they are, they are biased because the people that are, are writing them and pitching them are, uh, are, uh, are, are affiliates, people that are trying to, trying to sell a chair to get a commission. And I can almost guarantee that the people that make these reports have never sat in those chairs. Maybe they've sat in one, I don't know, one of them that they have on their list, but I can pretty much guarantee that they have not sat on these chairs. And uh, so just please be, be very, very careful about who you believe and what you read, what you read from uh, what you read and what and who you, you, you believe, because it can be very, very misleading. <clears throat> Anyways, okay. And to make sure you're not getting mixed up with a kind of a weird company or whatever, read my buyer beware report. That'll help you look at other things. I think I've got a list of 10 things you can look at to try to help you figure out if the company's good or not. Now, speaking of that, there is one small, there's a, there is one company that's online quite a bit and you see their ads everywhere. Their chairs are around 1500 bucks. Um, we consider those uh, kind of low end uh, chairs, not particularly premium chairs, but they are chairs that people, a lot of people can afford so they buy them. But I have said many times in the past, be careful, be because at that price, $1,500, you're not going to get great customer support. You're not going to get a, much of a warranty, if any warranty at all. Uh, the return policy is going to be uh, uh, full of fine print. So be very, very careful. This is what I've told people. Anyways, I've got, received a call. Uh, I've had a couple calls, but one last week, and it's fresh in my mind because it just happened last week, but a lady local here uh, called me to say, hey, uh, do you have anybody that can work on these chairs? And she mentioned the name, the, the brand of the chair, and I go, well, I don't know, have you called them? Because they may be able to, you, you're going to need to get the parts. If you've got a problem with your chair and something's broken, you're going to need replacement parts. Almost all the time, that's the case. Um, and, and she said, well, they, they don't sell parts. <laughs> and I thought, that's fantastic. This is a company that's a, a very, they only, it's a one trick pony. They have one chair and, uh, and they, have, they don't have parts for it. And it's a cheaper chair, so the, the, the failure rate is going to be higher than the premium chairs, so you're probably looking at a 5%, maybe higher f failure rate, but they don't have parts. So we do have a technician here in Salt Lake that we use, and he's fantastic, but he can't fix a chair if he can't get a part for it. And this massage chairs are not such that you can just say, well, maybe we can borrow a part off of that other chair, uh, that other brand chair, and use it because you can't do that. There, there's hundreds of massage chairs. I would, I think, I'm safe to say, hundreds of massage chair factories or factories that make massage chairs in China, and they all have their own thing, their own proprietary pieces and parts and 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 whatever. And so to find parts. If they don't have parts for you, then, geez, you're out of luck. I hate to say, but you're out of luck. So $1,500, that, okay, so that, you, you probably, for, I don't know, you just expect more. I mean, I know $1,500 is not a lot when you're looking at $10,000 chairs, but you know what? $1,500 is 1500 bucks. That's, that's a lot of money to someone. And to not be able to get parts, for a chair that's broken down within a few months of buying it, that's, that's a travesty. And that is why I have written Buyer Beware. That's why I've written that report, because stuff like this 
The deals are great, but you have to be aware that there's a, there's a trade-off. If you're going to buy an expensive chair, you expect to get good customer support. You expect to get a good warranty. You expect to have some parts inventory. You expect uh, to, people to answer the phone when you reach out to them. But these cheaper chairs, sometimes you can't even find the phone number. If you buy it on Amazon, sometimes they don't even have a phone number to call. You just have a contact information, and who knows if they'll ever respond. And I've heard, of course, nightmarish stories about that, too. But please just realize that there's a trade-off. If you're going to get the cheaper chairs, you're going to get you're going to get less service, less support. And I hate to say it because it just doesn't seem fair. You know, when I started in this business, uh, my first chair I bought was back in like 2002 or 2003. It was a Human Touch HT125, which was a basic model. But Human Touch is a great company. They took care of that chair and they took care of me. I had it. I remember I, need, I had it in my chiropractic office, and I remember it. it uh, something broke on it. They replaced it, replaced the part, and it was great. Well, now eight, you know, I, and I paid 18.99 for that chair, and that chair nowadays is like. Um, I don't know. They still have chairs like that. They have the the, the whole body 7.1, which is basically the same chair, but cooler looking and, and, and updated. Uh, but it's a very basic chair. But you're going to get good support from Human Touch. These other companies, they, they probably have more for like $19.99 or $15.99 or $17.99, more features. But the chairs are not the same quality. Okay? Important to understand that. People ask me, how last week on my newsletter, I talked, I put up a video comparing a $500 brand X chair to a $5,000 premium chair. What are the differences? You can see in that video what the differences are. It's on my YouTube channel if you want to see it. But anyways, I'm rambling on way too much. Last thing I want to say is I, I, I've, had a, I've had two calls this last week for a pre-owned uh, Supernovo chair. Supernovo is a good chair, but the chair they say is brand new and it it is in the box and they're only charging $5,000 for it. It's regularly a $10,000 chair. Well, I got red flags going off in my head all the time when I hear stuff like that. A brand new chair. So I asked her, the, the, the lady, the last lady that called, actually she just called yesterday, she asked if, um, if, uh, if it's covered by warranty. And usually if it's a pre-owned chair, a pre-owned chair that's not sold by an authorized dealer, no, you do not have warranty. So again, buyer beware, be very careful. You can get text that'll work on it and you can get parts for it, unlike this other chair that I was talking about, because Human Touch is a reputable company and the Supernova is a good chair. But you will not get warranty. So if they tell, if they're, if this applies to any used chair you're, you're, you're looking to get. If the advertisement for the chair says warranty included and it's not a new chair and it's not, you're not buying it from an authorized dealer, there is no warranty. Just be aware. And that applies to any chair. All these major brands, they do not transfer their warranties unless it is through an authorized dealer like, uh, like ourselves, for example. Like we have a 90-day return policy. So a chair gets returned within 90 days. We can resell that chair with the warranty because we, that, that's, uh, that's the privilege of an authorized dealer. But for someone who's unauthorized, and this chair is like in Wendover or something. I don't, there's no authorized dealers out in Wendover, I'll tell you that. But there, that, that I'm aware of, maybe there is. Maybe there is. I, I, I shouldn't have said that. I don't know if that's true. Maybe I misspoke. But if there's not, and this chair is just being sold by someone in their garage, be buyer beware. You're not going to have a warranty. So anyways, that's enough. I've got, I get off my soapbox. I, I feel sometimes like I've got to say these things because there are so many people that are, 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 are naive and gullible and they're just getting into the market and they get, they get kind of, I don't know, they just kind of get, in, they get, 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 taken advantage of or, or whatever it is you want to say but they get they get screwed over pardon my vernacular because they didn't really consider all these things before they bought the chair anyways that's it i hope you found the video helpful if you did please feel free to thumbs up like us on our youtube channel if you have any questions give us a call at 888-259-5380 and of course help us spread the word about massage chairs by sharing this video with your family or friends and help us spread the word we appreciate you doing that have a fantastic day i will see you in two weeks Bye bye